As I stood in front of the mirror, examining my reflection, I couldn't help but feel a sense of helplessness wash over me. My name is Chris, but when my mother wants to play dress up, she affectionately calls me, Chrissy. Tonight was one of those nights. In the dimly lit room, I gazed at the reflection of a boy dressed as a cute girl in a stunning pink prom dress. The dress flowed down to the floor, the soft fabric hugging my body in ways I never thought it would. I had never imagined myself in high heels, but now they adorned my feet, making every step a precarious venture. My hands were encased in fisted gloves, and my mother had even added a pair of lacy, elbow-length gloves to complete the ensemble. My mother's voice echoed in my ears as she entered the room, her tone a strange mix of pride and authority. I'm positioning you here as eye candy for my guests tonight, she declared with a mischievous glint in her eyes. You should be quite the curiosity. I couldn't help but blush at her words, a mixture of embarrassment and discomfort flooding my senses. I knew her intentions were well-meaning, perhaps even playful, but I couldn't shake the feeling of vulnerability. Fisted gloves and a hobble gown, indeed. I felt so helpless when she dressed me like this. It was as though I had become a living doll for her amusement. As the evening wore on, I played my part dutifully, mingling with the guests, trying to look elegant and graceful in my impractical outfit. My mother's friends were taken by my appearance, complimenting me on my charming look. In the midst of the laughter and the camera flashes, I stole a glance at my mother. She seemed content and satisfied with her creation. As much as it was a peculiar and uncomfortable experience, I couldn't help but realize that her intentions, however eccentric, came from a place of love and affection. Despite my momentary discomfort, I would always cherish these memories, for they were a testament to the unique bond I shared with my mother. And as I stood there, playing the role of Chrissy for the evening, I couldn't help but smile, knowing that no matter how eccentric the dress-up games, the love between a mother and her child was always genuine and unwavering. The evening continued, the hours passing with a mix of curiosity, laughter, and the occasional awkward stumble in my high heels. I found myself surrounded by friendly faces, and with each conversation, I began to relax a bit more. It was evident that my mother's friends genuinely cared for her, and they were eager to get to know the son she had playfully transformed into, Chrissy. As the night progressed, my initial discomfort began to wane, replaced by a newfound sense of self-assuredness. I realized that I could handle the attention and the expectations that came with this unusual role. In a way, I had become a symbol of my mother's creativity and the power of her love. It was her way of saying that she cherished our relationship and the freedom to express ourselves, even if it meant stepping into an unconventional world for a brief moment. I danced, I laughed, and I even managed to make a few jokes. The guests, initially drawn by my attire, began to see beyond the pink dress and high heels. They saw the person beneath, the one who was willing to embrace this adventure for the sake of his mother's happiness. The memories of that evening, the peculiar attire, and the nickname, Chrissy, would forever remain in my heart as a testament to the enduring love and unique connection I shared with my mother. As I slipped into more comfortable clothing, I couldn't help but smile, knowing that our bond was unbreakable, no matter how unconventional our adventures might be.